Off rip. Off rip. It's, it's a, a podcast. podcast. Welcome to Off Rip Podcast. Off rip the motherfucking, motherfucking pod. pod. <laughs> <laughs> you scared me. Do it again next time. Welcome to Off Rip Podcast. The motherfucking pod. It's episode 48. It's your boy Dalton Fam. It's your boy John B. It's your boy Moose Man Screen Man. Moose is here. It's episode 48. Getting close to 50. I know. Really close. What are we going to do episode 50? Are we going to do like uh, something special? I thought we were going to wait till 100. So far away. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we can. Uh, we should do a Shirts Off podcast. Do you, you want to lose followers? <laughs> 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 well, I don't know. We might gain it, followers. Yeah. yeah some, a lot of... A lot of uh, you know, hog heaven people. Uh, <laughs> They're like, dang, I didn't know. Fat chasers. I didn't know the off rip turned to a butcher shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, it's episode forty-eight. This <clears throat> this podcast is brought to you by Dubby. Be better. Dubby's a energy blend that you mix with your water. Gets y'all pumped up. Gets you ready to go. Whatever you're doing. I take it every day, man. That's why I'm so energized all the time. <laughs> Get your brain going. Yeah, just get nice. your brain going. That just like BDNF. The last two episodes, he was so energized. Bio derived neurotropic factor to 143%. This camera's on, right? Yeah. Mm. Buy W today at W.GG. Use our code off rip. You get 10% off of your order. Um, if you're using energy drinks every day, you will save so much money by switching to Dubby. Switching to Geico. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So, this week has been, it's been kind of crazy, man. I know. All the UFOs and the oil spills and the chemical spills and... They say, are they comparing that chemical spill? They're like saying like it's going to be like, um, was that one... Where everybody got oh Chernobyl yeah Chernobyl yeah I mean some guy took a picture of his car and he was and he was telling people don't touch your car because it's covered in like hydrochloric acid yeah and then I wow. saw a, I saw a video where a woman threw like a big ass rock in a lake yeah and then you could see the ripples but it looks like oil stains colorful oil stains dang was that from the explosion in, uh it was from the Ohio. Oh, I don't know. I think or Oklahoma, yeah, Ohio. I think. Where the train got derailed. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Train got derailed, spewing all kinds of chemicals in the atmosphere. Somebody took a picture of it from a plane. You could see it in wow. the ozone layer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the plane. That's crazy. Damn, how they gonna how they gonna take care of that shit? They can't. Right. Yeah. Oh, and Biden. Uh, declined giving them disaster relief. What? Really? Yeah, but he gives all that money to Ukraine. Hmm. <laughs> He's probably like, you want this relief? You got to get vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Biden. God damn, really? What's his term up? Next year. Here's the oh, come on, bitch. Don't press the... Okay. No, no, no. But yeah, man, you know, I think, uh, you know, a lot of people are saying the UFOs are like a distraction from from this, from this, like the real shit. Oh, and that UFO that they shot down and I think it was like Alaska or something. Uh-huh. They said it was a $12 hobby balloon. Oh, yeah. That some hobbyists uh, yeah. were like, using. And it's, all they had on it was a GPS and a tracker. Damn, that's crazy. But they shot it down with a four hundred thousand dollar missile. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're so paranoid from the first one. Yeah. Yeah, because when they shot it down, they opened it up. It was nothing but like, yeah, like you said, the GPS, right? And now China's saying that they're going to retaliate. Because they well, they said that we've or, been sending like that shit to China. Yeah, yeah, they said that we have a we've lot been of doing that. balloons over there. Yeah. Yeah, how are they going to retaliate? God damn. <laughs> Well, they said, yeah, they warned of retaliation over shooting the balloon. Oh, shit. A lot of crazy shit's happening right now, man. There was an Arctic blast in New Hampshire, 
and temperatures were negative 108 degrees. God damn. At, at Mount Washington. It's only February too, man. Like imagine what's going to happen like in the middle of the year. Wow, did it freeze everything, bro? Uh, I mean, I'm guessing so. Negative 108, that's ridiculous. Yeah, that's we, like space temperatures. Yeah. Well, Dan, we have this going on, and then we had those back-to-back mass shootings. What mass shootings? Uh, the one at the Michigan University. Oh, uh, yeah. And you know some of the students in Michigan were some students that were in the uh, the Sandy Hook shooting. So they, they experienced it all over again. Wow. That must be fucking, fucking crazy. traumatized. Oh, yeah. like they were kids back then and now, and now they're, they're adults? in college in Michigan and they went through that shit again. What the fuck? That's fucking crazy, man. I can only imagine, bro. What? Mm-hmm. Let me see. I put it here. Yeah, survivor know. of the 2012 Sandy Hook Elementary shooting is a current student at Michigan State. I didn't really consider it a mass shooting because only three people died. Well, that was like seven minutes <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying it's I'm, a, just, I'm being it's fucking. seven to be considered mass shooting though, right? No, no, it's it's four or more four casualties. More. Casualties includes injuries. So if four or more people get shot, it's considered a mass shooting. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Like I to be that student, like what the like I'd feel like I'd have bad luck. No, that's what happened. Um some of the people that were in the Las Vegas shooting, they just they went through a mass shooting in California. Imagine being I. I don't even want to be in one mass shooting. Some of these people have been in two. Yeah, That's fucking crazy, man. I you, know. You know where this stuff doesn't fucking happen? Sweden, bro. Sweden. Sweden. Yeah. What do they do in Sweden? What do they do? They eat What's a lot. Sweden new, known for? Known for uh, cheese. democracy. <laughs> I was gonna say cheese. <laughs> That's sw- Swedish cheese. No, but, but their prisons are like. That's Swiss. Luxury. That's Switzerland. Oh, Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me and me and Moose are in the same level of education. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> I said cheese too. Like, look at their prisons; they're beautiful. Let me see. Yeah, so th- it's like an apartment. Yeah, yeah if bro. you go to prison in Sweden, you get a private. <laughs> you get a private room. It's not like made of metal, to like how ours are. Like you sleep on metal. They they're actually like have dorms, bro. Beds, what the they fuck? have the desk. You can get a personal TV and everything. Is, are there homeless people in Sweden? Because if they're homeless, I'm like, all right, I just got to murder somebody. Like, no, man, live? there's no, there's, there's not really homeless people because they have, because they're more like socialist. Oh, so they, yeah. they're like they have like programs. Yeah. yeah, they have assistance. And, and their all. crime rate's pretty low. Look at the crime rate. Sweden's crime rate. <laughs> yeah, Sweden, uh, Denmark, all those countries over there. They're like Germany. They have low crime. They have good programs for people. But you can't get, like, rich, like, in America. Everybody has the same, like, level? Yeah, pretty much. Like, it's more even over there. What about PewDiePie? Is he from Sweden? Yeah. Yeah, but he lives in Japan. Uh, He's in Japan now? Yeah. Well, he has been for, like, the last two years or something. Yeah. Damn. Where does Mr. Beast live? California? Probably. Yeah, probably. Fuck. Speaking of fucking Mr. Beast, you know, have you seen these like videos of people that cook like stupid shit? Like they'll just like throw a bunch of shit in a yeah. in a tray yeah. or something and then cook it. Is that my phone? Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're just low though. Technical difficulties. Technical check, difficulties. Check, no, check. Like check. I mean, just yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, going back to what you said, you know how you said like everybody's le- equal leveled in Sweden, like their income and everything? I want to talk about, well, what were you talking about just now? Uh, the cooking dumb shit on YouTube. On okay, Facebook like the muck TikTok and Yeah, but wait, before you get to that, there's one person I just found out that makes so much fucking money for like, the craziest shit. So, you know that show that my daughter watches, the Miss Rachel? Yeah. Bro, guess how much her net worth is? 100 million. 
No, not that much. <laughs> but he, she's just a YouTuber. Yeah. So one guess. I, I, I like a realistic guess. One million. No. Um, Fifty million. No, that's too much. <laughs> Twenty million. Close. All right, man. Why are you gonna keep ten million? Guess? Ten million. Okay. She's worth ten million. But then again, her husband is a producer for a lot of Broadway shows in New York. Yeah, man. You know, I was like, <clears throat> me and Christy, we were drunk one night and we came up with the idea to start a children's YouTube <clears throat> because they just like watch that shit mindlessly, and all the and even though it's children, they still put ads on it. Yeah. So yeah. like, you still get paid. You just. You know, but like I was just gonna like make like stupid fucking kid videos where like Spider Man is like fighting. I don't know. Someone told <laughs> uh, someone told me like <clears throat> they're like you guys should do like you guys at the podcast like you guys should do a children's thing, a I children's like, episode. No, like a children thing, like on YouTube. I was like, can you imagine me and Don doing a children thing? <laughs> on a fucking <laughs> You, like we have to be so bubbly, bro, for them to pay attention. Yeah. Like we can't just be like, "Hey, <laughs> <laughs> it's a bitsy spider." <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, no. Um, so I'll just be on the side, like, better fucking listen. <laughs> <laughs> With a beer in his hand. <laughs> oh shit! Is that good? This. That's the rock shit, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, says yeah. Dwayne Johnson. Is it what flavor is that? Peach. Nice. I got pineapple coconut over here. Dang, why well, he got all island flavors? Cause man. We yeah. islanders in this house. Yeah. He's he's from uh New Zealand. That's an island. No, I'm talking about Brent. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There's yeah. white people in New Zealand, right? <laughs> <laughs> No, back to the food thing though. I've I watched this guy on YouTube. He's he has some like a million followers, but what he does is he'll go throughout his apartment. His his house is trashed, and then he'll find like a piece of meat like in his fridge that's been mm. old. Oh yeah, it's called like hood. Cooking. No, 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 not that guy. This is a Korean guy, oh. and like the meat will have like mold on it, so he'll wash it off with soap, <laughs> and then he'll cook it, and then he'll grab like ingredients and put it all in his mouth. And chew it up and then spit it out on the meat. <laughs> yeah. he, he makes it like a gourmet meal, though. I don't it know. Makes, it ends up like being gourmet. Yeah. Yeah, see, so that's what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, also, me and Christy had the idea to make pet videos, too. Like, you know, like, the you get pets to watch, like, videos with just sounds. Oh, but yeah. Make them, like, howl and stuff. But anyways... You can make a lot of money doing that. I thought you but, like her like petting you on video. <laughs> yeah, just put like sounds with squeaky. No, toys like her petting you on video. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said pegging. <laughs> oh my God. I gotta go back. We gotta get back to that subject later. But yeah, um, I think they just do it like like those people that just like throw pasta and they'll throw yeah. like cheese on it and like full mushrooms and like they don't cut nothing up or wash their hands but, or wash the food or nothing. Yeah. I think they do that so people will comment and be like, "You don't even wash your hands. Oh, you don't yeah. even wash the food." It's to get the views. Yeah, yeah. And then there's like a lady on TikTok that she reviews it, like or she like commentates over it in real time. Like she'll be like, "Oh, the, everybody's so creative." You ever seen that lady? Yeah, 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 yeah. She's like, everybody's so creative. Oh, you just gonna let the dog lick that off your hands? Okay, <laughs> well that's okay. You no, know, there's another lady like that, a black lady. The black she, lady, yeah. Is it black? Yeah. There's the one that cusses the whole time. But well, she doesn't cuss. There's the one that cusses. She's like, all right, you take this motherfucking chicken, you put it in the motherfucking. <laughs> <over."> <laughs> but she makes really good food though. The whole time oh, she's, she's making it though. Yeah, she's making it. Uh. And while she's describing it, she's like. And then she has like someone like help her give her ingredients. Yeah, she's like, "Hand me that corn over there." And she's like, "Hurry the fuck up, motherfucker!" <laughs> but she like makes gourmet food. Damn. People, I don't know how people come with this shit, man. And it's so be, simple. Do you cook anything? Yeah, I cooked uh, ramen. No, man. <laughs> I cooked like adobo the other night. Really? Yeah, it was good. Cook mac man, you should have had my man. I made some tocino. Last weekend? Hoy bro. made some kind of tocino last night. Really? Yeah, bro. It was like... With pork belly? Pork belly, bro. Bro, the one I made last weekend was so fucking delicious. 
Brent had it. Do you like it? Hell yeah. Did your foot start hurting after you ate it? Why would yeah. my foot hurt? Did it? No. No, it was because pork is really triggering for gout. <laughs> is it? Yes, raw pork. Shrimp. Shrimp. Turkey, uh, actually, if you didn't know that. Turkey? Yeah. How'd you get sleepy after I eat turkey? Because it has a high hydro something acid in it. Yeah. But I know pork, bro, that shit trigger like trigger you to get gout. Oh Gross. damn! Is that with pork belly? Yeah. Did you fry it? I just put it in the pan. Yeah, but put it in the pan. Just put it on low and just left it there. Did you put? What did you do? Like sugar? Yeah. So it was it? I used brown sugar, pineapple juice, oh. vinegar, garlic, lots of garlic. Bro, it was so delicious, yeah, man. Good. I was so happy. <sighs> so happy with the outcome. I just said I'm hungry and we just ate two pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, I think people just cook that. Because, you know, like the people that, that cook that shit, they get more views than the people that cook the good shit. I know, because it's boring. Yeah. It's just boring. There was a guy on there called the Air Fry Guy. Uh-huh. And he shows you so many recipes to use an air fryer. He's, comment he's doing a commentary, but he's singing his commentary. Singing. Yeah, he's like, put the peanut butter in the bread and the air fryer. Like, shit like that. He makes it up. <laughs> but it's, like, really good because I watch it a lot. That's all you'd be watching, huh? <laughs> food, you, all my shit on cooking, 40 pages is, like, stuff. food shit. <laughs> and then, like, one random girl's and then a the food shit again. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what I because you're logged into the offer up. Oh, so I don't I'll use the offer. No, I don't, I don't log logged in no more. Oh, okay. Because before, well, before, like, I would see what you were watching. It's, like, Miss Rachel, like, four oh, Miss Rachel YouTube. videos. On YouTube? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be, like, four Miss Rachel videos and then, like, ten mukbangs. Because, <laughs> <laughs> man, I watch that shit with Violet, too. She likes that shit. <laughs> it's either Miss Rachel or a mukbang. Have you noticed, like, more people are dying now from, like, young, young people? Yeah. Like younger, real young age, like thirties. Yeah, yeah. I think it's. I feel like it's what we're eating. Yeah. Or, or it's the vaccine. Or the vaccine. That's true. Well, also it's younger. Start happening after the vaccine. Younger people are having less sex now too. Well, I mean, it could be the vaccine, or it could be COVID. Yeah. Or the food. Because COVID is like a respiratory disease, right? So yeah, it, it's like they say, it stays with you now. Yeah, I was reading something like it was like your it alters your mRNA or whatever. Your, yeah, yeah, your DNA. Your yeah. Myrna. Your your Myrna. Your um metabolic respiratory Nigerian <laughs> <laughs> African. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I know that is crazy though, man. Because I know I actually know a couple people that lost their f friends like that are, are like around our age. Yeah, yeah, man. And a lot of it is like, uh, like they die in their sleep, a heart attack, and they're not like even unhealthy people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm scared now. I know me too. Did you see? Um, <laughs> Self topic, but did you see? I show you know who I show speed is. He's a YouTuber, and he's always like screaming and shit. No, look up I show speed. You'll know who he is. It's, it's just one word, but that guy. Yeah, you know who he is. Yeah, he goes up to. Uh, he just goes up to random people and screaming. Well, he streams. He streams. Uh, oh, but the yeah, but people now people know him because he went up. He was talking to the Asian guy, and he was calling Oh, him. yeah. He was like, konnichiwa. Yeah. He was like, konnichiwa. Yeah. Konnichiwa. And the guy was like, I'm not Ch I'm not Japanese. I'm Chinese. Yeah, yeah. I'm not Japanese. I'm not Japanese. And yeah. he's like, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Yeah. And then when he said, I'm Chinese, he goes, oh, chi -da -da. like he made some words. Up. Yeah. And then he got so much backlash about it, right? Yeah. But then he did a response to it. Yeah. He said that. He's That's like, what they call him in China or something. Yeah, but he's like, he's like, I got a bunch of Asian friends. He's like, I'm not making fun of them. It's just, I got this. I do that with my Asian friends. But people are saying that's a fake, like, not a genuine apology. Well, he said that 
like the word that he was saying, that's what people call him in China or something. What word was he saying? I don't know. It was like Ching Chong or something. <laughs> <laughs> For real. I mean, it was like it's like some some kind of word. But how come? Yeah, how come people in China when Americans go there, clearly they're going to make in front of an American. How come they don't get canceled? In but China? he talked to he talked to Drake. Oh, on Facetime. Well. Uh-huh. Because he's that famous now, man. He's, he's got millions of followers. And he talked to... Look up I Show Speed Drake. And uh, he... Uh, <laughs> he, too, he was so... He was fanboying over... He, he was acting like you would act if you talked to Drake. What was he saying? Watch. Just watch it. Go ahead. Play it. <laughs> He's so happy. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. He kept I, saying, "You look good." I wanted to say that, but then um, Drake hung up on him because he uh, he he said, "You sound so sexy." <laughs> he hung up. <laughs> and Drake hung up. How long is this clip? No, you could you could turn play the sound. We we won't we'll only get knocked if it's uh music. If it's music. I think Drake doesn't like when people act like that. Like he wants you to be like cool. normal. Yeah. yeah. Lionel or Messi. Or Lionel or Messi. Or Ronaldo or Messi. They're on Facebook li- or Instagram Live. Oh, okay, okay. Well, see, that's why Drake's like trying to be like respectful because he knows he's on. He's getting recorded. Yeah. He was licking his lips at him. <laughs> I want I want him to see him, like when he hangs up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he gets so mad. Look at him. <laughs> That's what he's famous for for acting like, like that. reactions. Yeah, like how he acts. Because he just scream. He always, he's always screaming and like. <laughs> how many followers that guy have? Your voice so sexy. <laughs> how many followers he have? Uh, four, his point, main page? four point four million. On YouTube, that's a lot. God damn, that's hard to get to on on YouTube. Your face so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> he said your voice is so sexy. Oh. He said your voice is so sexy. How do you sound so smooth? <laughs> <laughs> he just threw up on his ass. <laughs> That's just funny, bro. That's some shit you would say, John. No, nah, I'd just probably be like, hey, man. Do you, you think know. Drake like acts gay with his friends? Yeah, bro. Like his click? Yeah. He's, yeah, I'm pretty sure, bro. I'm pretty sure. I wish I was part of it. <laughs> <laughs> but like, okay, like, mm. I've... I've never seen a rapper like act gay with people except for Little Nas X. You know? No, Little Wayne and Baby. <laughs> I think. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, besides that, wasn't like, Jack Harlow? Like you know, like oh, oh yeah, Jack, Jack Harlow. Harlow. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, he was doing an interview with uh, Drewski when they were playing a basketball game. Yeah, he's like, man, he's so sexy. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then Drew was like, hey man, stop, man, like, nah, man, he looks sexy, bro. But him and Juicy are like the yeah, yeah, funniest the boys, like, yeah. best friend relationship. <laughs> That's why I feel like Jack Harlow or Drake or me, stop touching my feet. <laughs> they'd be funny if like they hung out with us. If they weren't like celebrities, they'd be like I feel like they'd be like just like us. No, nah, I don't know, man. I've never you never see I mean besides Jack Harlow, okay, so Jack Harlow's like new. And he's white also, so you got to consider that. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you don't really see, like... Like, the old school rappers, they don't do that shit. I mean, like, okay, 
I can't even think of anybody like Migos. I don't know. No. Uh, Does anybody like do like Eminem? Some no, no. Some such shit. Well, Eminem did say on the interview that he was gay. Remember? Oh yeah. On <laughs> oh, no. see, it's only the white rappers. You talking about when the interview with uh, yeah, James with, Franco? Yeah, when yeah. he's like, what about Diddy? Oh yeah, man. I know. I'm not talking about like real gay. I'm talking about like <laughs> fake mid, gay, mid like gay. like friend gay. Oh you know? yeah, gay friend. He said not real gay. Like Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I can't think of anybody. Where's the vape at? Ooh. Damn, boy. Yeah. <laughs> that was like, yeah, you seen that video of, uh, look up DK Metcalf. DK, DK, the letters DK, and then Met, yeah, that guy. Uh, catch. Catch. Hi, Cat. Yeah, Cat. Just put Catch. And then go to, um, yeah, yeah, that one, that one, that one, the first one. Daily Mail, yeah. yeah. And then go down, play the video. Watch, bro. This guy is fucking insane. Wait, where's the video at? Right there. Wait, it was going to come up, man. Oh, I'll, I'll just look, look it up. Or you could have clicked just video. Whatever. <laughs> no, it's not like... It was that article you were just looking at. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Right there. Yeah, yeah. Insane leaping. All right, this shit is not real, bro. Watch this shit. Watch this shit. This is me right now. This is me catching the vape. Ooh, Ooh boy, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? Hey, How man, do you do that? Because his knee grows, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Boy's got a jump on him. Huh? Damn, that's, that's like... <laughs> Super, <laughs> bro, that's fucking crazy. That is insane. I've never seen anybody jump that high, bro. He's been playing basketball, man. You could dunk over fucking Yao Ming. <laughs> Yao Ming's big, boy. He has to have one flaw by him, though. He's got to have a flaw. Yeah, he has to have probably the smallest. He's got a small dick. Guys, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm gonna let you jump high, but you gotta get a small dick. <laughs> People are going to hate me, bro. You got to explain what, what what you meant by his knee. His knee grows? Yeah, his knee. Because like, yeah, he jumps so high, his knee. His knees grow. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he meant. Yeah. So just making sure you guys know that. <laughs> yeah, don't cancel me. I'm just I'll point it in the obvious. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's crazy, though. That's like... Supernatural. That's how I felt catching this vape, man. <laughs> <laughs> I really, for real, like I just damn. I couldn't even see over my hat either. I just kind of caught it. Yeah. <laughs> well, like that one time you caught that one thing. These nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he was like. Yeah, I knew you're. And I was like trying to think, what did I catch? <laughs> These nuts <COVID>? in your mouth. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's just funny, man. Uh, yeah, I show speed. <laughs> that was funny. Your voice is so sexy, man. Yo, so I was uh, talking about gay. I was on Big Guy Appetites Live the other uh-huh. night. I like sign. <laughs> <laughs> he man, he knows like we how we talk because okay. he watches our shit. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Like, I signed into, he was on live for a little bit, and then I signed in mid-live. Yeah. And they were talking, and I was like, I was like, yo, what's up, man? What are we talking about tonight? And he was like, John, I don't know if you want to join this conversation. I was like, I was like, what's up, man? I was like, I'm down to talk about anything. And he was like, we're talking about sucking dick. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? I was like, hey, man, I got nothing against, you know, any sexuality. I was like, I was like, a good story is a good story. And then they're, like, talking about it, and then. And then you were like, I'm leaving. <laughs> no, and then there's another guy in there. He's a, like a one of his fans. Yeah. And real cool dude too, man. Um, but the, they're talking about like. How they grab it? No. How, <laughs> <laughs> do you want to know? <laughs> no, they're talking about like why certain, you know, why. They lick the tip. <laughs> <laughs> no, because there's a girl in there. She was talking about anal. 
And they're still saying, like, dude, how do you guys get pleasure out of it? And then it was back. I told him we talked about, like, you know, it's because the prostate, right? Yeah. And then I think one of them was like. Was that real, though? Yeah, he said, yeah. And his family was like, yeah, it's called, you know, getting milked. I was like, ooh, oh, <laughs> getting milked. Getting milked. And I was talking about how the pegging thing. Yeah. Like, is that what pegging does? Because I thought pegging is just they just put, like, a plug in your butt. No, they fuck you with a... With the peg? With a dildo. Yeah, but the Step peg on. itself, it's just, it's just something they plug in your butt. No, that's just a butt plug. Yeah. But the pegging is actually, like... Oh, yeah, actual fucking Yeah, ass. fucking in the ass. Yeah. yeah. They were saying that I should try it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, nah, man, I want nothing near my butt, bro. Nothing. They're like, they're like, yo, that's like the, it's like either you're heterosexual or you're homosexual. It's like, that's going to be the best nut you ever had. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Well, the path you're going, you might end up doing that. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, bro. I'm not getting pegged or fucked in the butt. Sorry. Not that I have anything against that. For you like that, I just. You know, Christy said I was like, because you know you posted that clip last week, and I was telling her like, yeah, I just want to be unapologetic on the podcast. Like I'm, you know, me. Because you know what, you know, the reason I think the reason that the world is so sensitive is because. People give the sensitive people power by apologizing for everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So, <laughs> like, if you keep apologizing, they're going to be like, okay, well, then I'm right, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, so, true. That's true. I was like, I just want to be unapologetic. I'm not going to apologize for anything. I mean, I might, but. Talking about the clip we made? <laughs> the one you made. Oh, talking about like, if, you, if you're sensitive, don't fucking watch this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I, I know I'm not racist so whatever i say is not if i was racist i wouldn't have said anything yeah you know what i'm saying but chrissy was like when i said that she said that you guys talk about gay guys a lot yeah but <laughs> <laughs> you do we no we do bro yeah. we do it's just well, it's because we're gay yeah yeah it's, you know, <laughs> it's, it's just because like I don't know. The gay, the gayness world is so interesting. <laughs> it is. It's interesting. Not like I'm interested in being in it. It's just like. It's like, you know. Oh, what's that movie? Z Have you seen Zack and Mary? Yeah. Zack and Mary make a porno? Yeah. When, yeah. when uh, Zack goes, they go to their high school reunion. Mm -hmm. And it's Justin Long. And, yeah. <laughs> and that one guy. And he's like, they're like gay or whatever. They're a couple. Like, you ever seen me in my movies? Um like uh, what kind of movie you know he's like uh something like king kong he's like well more like ding dong in my ass <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he's like no i haven't heard of that one <laughs> like, who uh, was he dating it was fucking i think it was superman the guy that plays superman steve cavell or Camille. oh know. it was it was some guy but when they were arguing, uh, Seth Rogen was like, wow, they're just like me. <laughs> yeah. He's like, wow, they're just like us or something. They act like <laughs> us. Yeah. I think that's what, yeah, that's what it's, we find fun, not funny, but interesting about it. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like a whole other world. But yeah. It, like you know, it's Gaines world. world, but it's. That, but, but he was saying that on his live, man. He's like, he was like, man, I, he's like, a lot of my friends that are heterosexuals, he's like, I fucking love them because they're not. They're they're in touch with their own sexuality, they're not embarrassed, you know, or mm. and stuff like that. And they can have an actual, real conversation with them if I need like advice. He's like just like as if someone was giving advice to you about your girlfriend. Yeah, you know, he's mm. like they can give me advice about to me for my boyfriend. Like, yeah, you know, his his he hurt me last night, <laughs> something like that. One. <laughs> Jeez. <Yeah. laughs> um. Moose, look up uh, off-duty cop shoots and kills mugger in Chicago. Oh, the like, the lady cop. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about that? <clears throat> like, is it? Do you think it was justified? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> a lot of people are like, they're like, she shouldn't um, have done it. Well, they're saying like the third shot was unnecessary. But he, her, her, if there, you're, there's a video. But yeah, yeah, there's a video. But the thing is, if you feel like your life is in danger, you're gonna do anything you can to protect that. 
Yeah. See, look. Play he, the sound. Yeah. Because you can you can hear them. They're actually talking to each other. Yeah. Yeah, see? Ultimately killed 39-year-old Smith. So, yeah, so she was... Uh, pause it. She was helping him <clears throat> with something, <clears throat> like... And and then she started walking away, and, and he, tried to, he tried to mug her. And then she was like, I'll kill you. She was like, she's like, don't fuck with me, I'll kill you. And then he goes, you're going to have to kill me. That's what he said. Yeah, and he reached for her gun. Yeah. So and then he she shot him, and she's like, "I told you I was gonna kill you." Yeah. And he shot her. She shot him again, and then he was like, "Okay, okay, okay, you got, you got it, I, you got it, you got it." And then but, she, but then she shot him again after that. Uh, well, uh, maybe I don't. Know. I don't know, man. I feel like if someone reaches for my gun, they have all the potential of killing me, and like they can say, "Okay, stop," and then they'll start again. You don't. You never know. Yeah, like if someone reached for my gun and I and I got control of it, I'm gonna shoot them. Like I'm gonna just keep shooting, not like 15 times, but until they're down. Yeah. So I don't know, man. I I think she, she oh, she's one. She's a female. Two. True, yeah. Yeah. Two. Like as a man, so she was protecting her life, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think if you're willing to commit the crime like that, like yeah. if you're willing to you go after somebody, reap the consequences. Yeah. It's like a consequence. Like you, yeah, that's like people who, who rob gas stations. You got to think I might fucking get shot. Yeah, I think that was justifiable. Yeah, because yeah. like he did attack her. It's just yeah. It's just the third shot was a little excessive. Saw that. Saw that. And that sensitivity shit again, man. Bro, just like that. Um, well, when Michael and Ryan were here, uh, someone got shot in Manchester. Um, at, at a bar. Hold on. And died. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember what bar. Well, this is. So. This is dispute. This guy. <clears throat> so what was the story though? Is it like the same type of thing? Yeah. Well, the, the other guy was like he. Punched him in the face, and then this <coughs> this dude shot him like uh, four or five times. Hey man, it's self defense, bro. But like, the guy that hit him was like 150 pounds, and this dude is like 200 pounds. Oh, and he he could have literally just I beat knocked him, up. him out. Yeah, I mean, I could get one shot in like the leg, but like he shot him in the face first, and then like six more shots. You said yeah, four. <laughs> yeah, three weeks ago. That's crazy. Though. That's that's a different story. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a little different. <clears throat> I don't know, man. Damn, I need I need a bottle of water. My mouth is dry. I need something wet in my mouth. <laughs> why do I do? Why do I keep going back to gay shit? <laughs> you like talking about it, bro? This is it's just I don't know. Gay people are funny, so I want to be funny. Can you can you get John B uh, yeah, a water? A water right? Moose. I'll, I'll, God damn! I'll send you a D pick. Is that hold on? It's been there. Oh, it's already there. It's not open. All right. Better not be pissed. <laughs> <sighs> uh. <coughs> Man, like, did you see that guy that commented on one of our shorts? What? What did he say? He was like, get a job. <laughs> <laughs> and I commented back. Yeah, you were like. I was like, thanks, this is our job. Or I was like, yeah, we were doing it right now. Thanks for watching. Yeah. He never commented back. I've seen that. I've seen people saying that on a lot of people's stuff, though. Because like, I think YouTube's not a real thing. Yeah, it's not. We're not doing this full time right now. Well, shit, man. If you could do, I mean, if you could make money making so, content, yeah, yeah, you would. fuck. Yeah, there's work that goes into it. Yeah, we just don't sit here and like 
Shoot. That's, the, yeah. Right. See, that's what people don't understand. There is a lot of work that goes into it. Yeah, they don't yeah. understand the money that's put into it. The <clears throat> just the, yeah, the whole setup. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to be, you know, all the behind the scenes stuff, like sex with men. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think we got all this money to pay for this? <laughs> all right. Check out our OnlyFans. <clears throat> yeah, that's like OnlyFans, man. Tell them to get a job, but they probably make more <laughs> of them fucking money than you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What do you do, guy? What was his name? I don't know. Did you see um, Chris Brown? Yeah, what's going Talk, on? Talking about Chris or uh, Blueface. Blueface? Yeah. But, so, are they, so he's getting mad because people are still bringing up the Rihanna situation. Yeah. And then he was like, Man, y'all not get fucking mad at Blueface and Krishan for beating each other up. Yeah. Yeah. And then Blueface <coughs> or responded and he said, you beat up the wrong bitch. <laughs> yeah. That's true, though, bro. Because, Re- I mean, it's, it's wrong to beat up any girl, but yeah. Rihanna was popping off during that time. Well, yeah, both they she were. still is. Yeah. Wait, so are they still together? Who? Krishan and Blueface? Oh, uh, I don't know. Are they? I don't know. I, I know. know I heard there was a video where he was trying to break up with her. Bro, have you seen him deadlift? <laughs> <laughs> it's so yeah, funny. bro. Like he was tr- shaking. <laughs> yeah, was she's shaking. stronger than he is, man. Yeah, she's. Yo, I thought oh, his she, knees were gonna pop out. She was. A, she was an athlete, though. Was she? Oh, really? Yeah. Damn. She, she was like a. Her. She was a D one track star. She looked oh, like she did lacrosse. Shit. She does have a fit body, though. Yeah. Still not hot to me. I'm sorry. No, doesn't she have a tooth missing? <laughs> yeah, that was the tooth that had Blueface's face on it. She you know got that? what? That tooth she's missing. That was the tooth that she got Blueface's face on it. Yeah, Blueface's face on her tooth. How yeah, it was like a gem, but it was his face. Oh, uh-huh. well, it got knocked out during a fight on his show. She fought some chick, right? Yeah, it was on the blue the Blueface <laughs> Love Show or whatever, <laughs> or the. Blueface house. I don't know. Krishan Rock Tooth. You saw the live where he told her he was fucking around with her, but he was like, he, oh, said, shit. he said that her tooth was stinky. <laughs> 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 she got so mad. It's like, how the fuck you gonna say that to me? I hate her voice. But I am scared of her though. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't go for it. He's so chill though. Like when she like pops off, yeah. Like he's like, you know, chill. And like he's just so chill about it. He just doesn't care. He just deals with it. Like, yeah, he's just man. like sitting there. Like when she was fucking breaking the monitors and shit. <laughs> he was just taking it. He was just like, I don't know. He's like security, <laughs> security <laughs> on his old girlfriend. Just I mean, if y'all want, if y'all want to do something, you can. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm surprised. He's still with that. Have you seen that uh, or uh, heard about that kid? He he had a he was a quarterback, and he got a scholarship to go to University of Florida, but they revoked it because he posted a TikTok singing along to a, a DMX song, and he said the N word. N word. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's white, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, damn, that's crazy how they look into that. Yeah. Like, fuck. But do you think it deserves revoking his whole scholarship? I mean, that's like... I mean, let him, at least let him write an apology. He was he was rehearsing a song. Yeah. Just like, what's his name said? The Asian dude. Oh, when, Jimmy O. Yang. When the black guy's like, can I say fucking rice hat, rice eating, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> He was like, if it's in a song. <laughs> I, do you think it should have? I, uh, I think they should have gave him a chance to explain himself. And was he younger too? Was he yeah, he's going to college. He's like 18. No, I'm saying, was he younger when he made that TikTok? No, it was like during that oh, same period but of I time. Mean, it was rehearsing. It could have been his favorite rapper. True. I mean, it's, I don't think it's that deep. I mean, I guess... She, Really, I mean, get, bro, when you okay, when uh, Joe Rogan a pass, yeah. So why they can't give a kid has a whole future ahead of them? You know when they're going when they're having concerts and shit, like 
when DMX has a concert or not has, everybody's rehearsing it. Yeah, everyone and and you know you know what? It's mostly white people in that yeah, crowd. Yeah, and when I remember that uh concert They're not like did, they're not like, like looking at everybody's mouth are you saying that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know? Like remember when he he had that big ass crowd at Coachella. Yeah. It was mostly white people. Yeah, but that I was saw. like 1999 though. Yeah, but still there were It was a Coachella. So. It was a uh, It was like It was Woodstock. Oh, was it Woodstock? It was the revival of Woodstock. Oh. Did you watch that documentary? Yeah, I have. I have. Yeah. It was the 99 Woodstock where like they burned everything down. Everybody was like just fucking everybody. Yeah. A lot of girls like got raped and shit. Crazy. Yeah. Do you think they should have given him a chance? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. the thing is, he got a he got a new scholarship offer from an HBCU. Really? Yeah. Oh, so just go there. Yeah. Oh. You know HBCU. Is yeah. Okay. He's probably like, where did he try to go originally? UF. Oh, he tried to go Gainesville. Yeah. Oh, that's why. I'm just kidding. They're probably like they're so worried about their image. Yeah, but okay. So can you look it up, Moose? Yeah. What is it? HBCU offers scholarship to HBCU. N-word. Yeah, HBCU. Yeah. It means historically black college. Did he did he go though? Huh? Did he go? I don't know. College to call it offers scholarship to N word. No. <laughs> to, no. To guy that said the N word. To to guy that said the no. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> you gotta apologize for that. <laughs> Oh shit! Fuck! <laughs> college. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, college football recruit who sang N word gets offer from HBCU school. See, in Washington. Washington? It's Washington D.C. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, man. They're probably like, hey, man, he's just trying to. He, they're like that boy just trying to rap the most legendary rapper. Let him come <laughs> here. For real. Albany State University. Oh. Dang. So they probably welcomed him with open arms. Like, come here, little. Well, I mean, maybe they just needed a really good quarterback, and they were like, "Oh, oh, yeah." Oh. They probably do care a lot about their football. But that's maybe you know going to that school, he'll like learn you know the damage behind that word and stuff. You know? Yeah, yeah. So that might be a <laughs> yeah. Because if it. it slips there, oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you getting jumped. <laughs> quarterback, no quarterback. Let me show you. I can't believe college for N word. Oh shit! Complex named uh, Twenty One Savage the best rapper of 2022. Uh, they should have gave it to, in 2021. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that would have been good. <laughs> 21 Satchel is best rapper to 21. 21. Best rapper? I don't know if I yeah. agree with that, bro. What? Bro. I know you would you think I'm going to say they should give it to Drake, but they could have given it to like J. Cole. Yeah. Or like, you know. But what did J. Cole do last year? If, they're, if we're going, although, also, are they going by like how many uh, like streams and music she sold, maybe? Or just. As an artist and lyricist. Uh, well, I don't know. Let's look it up. As a lyricist, no, bro. Put complex at the end. Complex. But maybe as features and best like right complex. Songs, maybe uh-huh. it was Complex Magazine that gave it to him. Like Twenty One Savage, every song he's on has like I think it has like the most catchiest beats. Yeah, 21 Savage named the best rapper of 2022. Fans react. How do they react? I mean, they they don't they don't think he <coughs> like what I think. <coughs> so it says that 21 contributed <coughs> <coughs> drink your drink. <laughs> plenty of impressive features throughout yeah, the features, year. Yeah, features, see? While also teaming up with Drake for her loss. So yeah, I, if he did it like by himself, I don't know if he'd be the top. No, rapper. yeah, if it feels features, and like the the 
songs he did that he featured because like, you know a lot of songs he's on they they do make a lot of streaming you know views maybe you know they're just saying like his contribution to hip hop last year he was the best rapper to do it maybe yeah that's fine but not as the best rapper as lyricist wise no yeah definitely not I, I think Jack Harlow is better than him honestly I yeah. agree no 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 I agree I like 21 a lot I like 21 I, I like too. Him too yeah don't get me wrong that's why I say it's a podcast it's a podcast because he does that because he says it's an it's a knife honestly. oh <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so you say it's a podcast, like ISSA podcast? Yeah, it's oh. a podcast. That's my Snapchat. It's a John Beasy. Huh? It's a John Beasy. <laughs> That's my Snapchat name. John Beasy? It's a, then John Beasy. Oh. Uh, is it? Yeah. I thought it was Beasy, John That's Beasy. like the main, you know, I could change the name. Yeah. <sighs> Fuck, I got to piss. All right, keep talking. You move. Okay. Talk about like, I don't know, like graham crackers or something. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I got to go to. What, really? No. I, I can go later. Uh, Would you say he's your favorite rapper of 2022? Who was my favorite? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Nobody, man. I, I didn't really like last year's music. Oh, Kendrick. Oh, yeah. Kendrick made some good shit. Yeah, I like Kendrick. I like I like 21 a lot though. So, I can see why they why they said that. Do you think he would have got it if he didn't do features? No, I don't I think, you know, when you do a feature and you make the song a, like and you make it like you make it a a, a hit just because you're on it, that it's like uh, every song that you know, every young rapper that gets Drake on a song, they blow up. Yeah, yeah, that says you know? a lot. Yeah, it says a lot about who they are, and uh, I think Twenty One Savage is that type of rapper. Like you get him on a song, and everybody just likes it because he's just like little baby. Yeah, I think Twenty One is just he's. I don't know. I like his like low effort rap. Yeah, it's not low effort, but it's like he's like smooth. I guess I don't know. Would you go to your high school reunion, Moose? Yeah, I think so. How many? You only had like ten people in your high school, though, right? In my class, yeah, <laughs> I didn't have a lot. One of them, uh. One of them was a murderer too, so Damn. that's pretty fucked up. You wanna go pee? I gotta, I gotta... So I have less than ten. <laughs> you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta pee out your ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <clears throat> Did you go to your high school reunion, John? No. Why? Uh, I don't even think I was here, like in the states. I think I was in the Philippines. In high school. No, my, during my high school reunion. Oh. Yeah. Because it's like 10 years, right? Every 10 years or something? I don't know, bro. Yeah, so, yeah, I think it's 10 years. So, like, 2000, I'm not going to say, but but <laughs> 10 years later, I graduated my reunion, and I wasn't here. I was in the Philippines, bro. Getting lit. Chopping it up? Yeah, with all the lady boys. <laughs> <laughs> Chopping it up and chopping it off, huh? Yep. <laughs> but man, you really gotta go there, bro. It's fucking fun, dude. It, I've seen pictures. It's beautiful. Yeah, well, certain parts. Yeah. Like, telling like a hundred dollars, we can go like two weeks, like living like fucking rich for a hundred dollars for two weeks. The dollar's worth a lot there. Yeah, bro. So the equivalent to a dollar over there, they go by pesos. Yeah. So a dollar is 52 pesos, okay? And you know how much a Coke bottle is? Like 13 pesos. Wow. Okay. Yeah. 
That's crazy. Damn. And then like a full on like say like the fanciest restaurant here, like let's say, I don't know, like Olive Garden or like Jay Alexander. Or Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. Like you know how there is like fucking maybe almost 15, 20 bucks a plate. Yeah. A restaurant over there, it's like 400 pesos. So calculate that. A dollar is a 52. Or no. Yeah, a dollar is 52. So that's like $5, bro. For a fancy ass restaurant. 400 pesos. That's crazy. Damn, so if you go down with like $1,000, you're set for... Bro, you're set for like four or five months. (laughs) Damn. Yeah, I'm talking about just crazy. You can get a driver, fucking a personal driver. You don't ever have to do anything, bro. I think I got like facials like every day. No pause. (laughs) But like, you know, like cleaning my face, like getting... Yeah, you like cream on your face? Yeah, I like when they're like, put stuff on my face every day. (laughs) <laughs> it's crazy though <clears throat> I didn't want to leave But then I wanted to leave Because I'm so used to the modern world Yeah Like here, the first world Is it just like slower living there? Uh, it's So certain parts are very modern Like the the major cities Like the tourist cities Yeah Very modern But like the part where I was at Where my family's from it's in a province where, like, you have to travel to go to the mall. Mm. But other than that, it's, like, very countryside. Do they have, like, name brand stuff at the mall? Yeah. They, bro, they had, like, a whole ass... They got, like, a whole Michael Jordan store there. Oh, shit. You know, they got, like... They got, like, Louis Vuitton, too, and everything there, too. But you got to go to the the capital where that's in the modern world, you know? Hmm. Is it, like, uh, is all that shit way cheaper? Well, if you go to the mall where they have the high fashion shit, yeah, it's still kind of similar price, but a little bit cheaper, similar price though. But of course, you know they sell knockoffs there too. You can just buy those and bring them back here, <laughs> which you're not allowed to. <laughs> what alcohol is famous in the Philippines? Uh, their famous beer, San Miguel, which is. I don't like beer, but for some reason I can drink San Miguel. Red Horse, Red Horse bro, that shit's like a it's a malt liquor, isn't it? Yeah, you just drink one and you're fucked up. Yeah, you met, bro. In the Philippines, it's called Red Horse. It's a bottle. A group of guys just sit in a circle, just taking shots of it. That's how fucked yeah. up it is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And it's so easy to take shots of it because it goes so fast. The yeah, shot, the shot, so it's back to back, back to back. I forgot to tell you that. Uh, that I show speed video. Yeah. Somebody said that after he was like, Oh, your voice is so sexy and Drake hung up. He called twenty one and was like, Twenty one, can you do something <laughs> for me? <laughs> <laughs> what's what's famous liquor in Philippines? Uh I don't I forgot the name. I just um, it's the beer. They really like beer. Huh. There is a liquor though. There is yeah, there is liquor, but I didn't drink like I drank that shit right there. That and San Miguel. Yeah. Bro, if you ever go there. You got any plans to go? Me? Yeah. Not anytime soon, man, because Violet. I want to bring Violet, but she's, I think feel like she's still young. Yeah. Because my dad's getting a house built, so maybe by the time it's done, we can go. <clears throat> Y'all should go. I'd rather go to Italy. Than the Philippines? Yeah. I've been in the Philippines three times. I haven't been to Italy ever. Yeah, but like, what if you go with like your family and friends? Like this immediate, this family and then friends. Yeah. Imagine going with friends, bro. That should be fun as fuck. I know. Yeah, it would. That's what I really want to do. Because when you go to family, it's so limited on what you can do. Because you got to do what the family does. Yeah. I just, I, I want to lose weight before I go because, you know, like. Bro, you'll lose weight there. Yeah, but, you know, when you go, like. It's it's not a place for big people because like it's all the not. alleyways and shit they're so small. Oh yeah, and then you know, like bro, walking through the palenque like you're fucking bumping in everybody. Bumping, yeah, <laughs> bro. When I went there like the first time, moose. Wait. And every time my my family introduced me to extended family that lives there, like oh this is Jonathan my son. First thing they say. Wow, so big. <laughs> wow, so healthy. It's, no, they say so big. Well, they say Tagalog. 
Wow. Tabak. Tabak. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> you bitch. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> My other grandma, not that grandma. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that, because that, you know, everybody there is so small. You see rare big person there. Yeah. I saw one fat kid. I did too. Myself. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was like in the mirror. And they're shorter, right? Very short. They're like fucking the tallest, like maybe five. There are some tall Filipinos, but most yeah. are like what, five, six, five, five? Yeah. I have a cousin that's like 5'10". Yeah. So, Don, you're like the tallest Filipino, huh? Yeah, they all thought I was in the PBA. Yeah. When I, when I would go places. They thought I was in the PBA or they thought I was Korean. <laughs> <laughs> they just think I'm like I'm big-ass Samoan. Well, I lost, like got off an airplane just stayed there. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, but I, when, I, when I landed in Hawaii for a, like a, a layover... I felt like I was. I felt like I was at home, bro. Oh, everybody's big. Yeah, I was like, damn, I saw like ten of me there. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the just just at the airport. Yeah, just at the airport. That, even the pilot. <laughs> 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 but then, if you if you know Hawaii and you a skinny person, then you're like, oh, you need to eat. Yeah. Do you think um, like busted Uber should be a thing? Like, you get an Uber, but it's like a busted-ass car. Just kind of like to experience it, you know? Like it's just, a lot cheaper. It's just trashed. Just like the yeah. brakes don't really work that well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like stuff like that. Like, <coughs> Oh, shit. But they're like, you get in, the driver's like, all right, man, you got to help me pedal. <laughs> <laughs> There's like one seatbelt in the whole car. I've been in some trashy-ass Ubers. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that bad though? They're not supposed to be like that, right? Yeah, they're supposed to be like clean and. I think I like the experience of almost dying. That seems fun. All right, just jump out that window. <laughs> he like pulls over and puts has put antifreeze in his car real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'd be all right. Just slipping and sliding on, on a bridge. Yeah. <laughs> the on tires the bridge. are bald. riding on his tire flat, flat tire rims. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, we're almost there. Yeah. I think that'd be good. Yeah. You, you gotta give them a chance to make money to fix their fucking car. Exactly. <laughs> it breaks down. You gotta push the car the rest of the way. We gotta <laughs> give more opportunities here, man. Uh -huh. We gotta give more opportunities in America. We gotta get more opportunities. Give more opportunities. Yeah. Like, there could be a homeless guy right now that has, like, a fucking master's. His life just went south. But, like, no one's gonna hire him because he looks homeless. Oh, bro. My, uh, my, um, my brother's friend that used to live with him mm -hmm. uh, his wife lived in North Carolina yeah she, he's Filipino she's Filipino uh, when he brought her bro she was like she, she just has like some kind of like mental issues cause she she thinks she's talking to God all the time like she she, she would be like screaming in the kitchen and she would be like talking to she'd be like talking to the devil and then talking to God on one side. And then, like, sometimes I'd go in the kitchen and she'd just be laying on the floor with her arms flat out. <laughs> like, she was, like, yeah, she was just, like... And I went to North Carolina with him to mm -hmm. help him clean out her house mm -hmm. because she was... He was telling, he was saying that she's going to... Uh, Move. He's going to send her to the Philippines so her family can take care of her. But, bro, like, when we went to her house, like, I saw all the books and stuff she had and it was all like computer programming bro she has like a she has a master's degree in in computer uh, uh -huh. science uh -huh. from like the 90s so she was like one of the first um uh, computer programmers yeah uh and she was just super fucking smart like like all of her shit was like she, she just seemed like super fucking smart and but like she had crazy stuff in her house too well, like, like she she had pictures of Jesus with her blood all over it what? what? Yeah. Oh my god! She had chills. like she had like red, uh, crosses in her blood on the wall, like everywhere. Oh my god! I think bro, that's called like stigmata. Or something? <laughs> huh? Was she like possessed? Bro? Yeah. Like no. That like I said. Like is that like stigmata? You know what stigmata is? No. Where a person goes through the they go through like the passion, the passion of the Christ. Like they where have, yeah, they get like all the tortures he went through while he was getting crucified. They go through it. Yeah, like holes in your hand. Wow. Like crown on her head. Her head bleeds. Yeah. You never watched Stigmata? No. Oh, I think you weren't born yet. Sorry. 
<laughs> was that with was that was with Matt Damon, right? Was it? Let me see. Look it up. Stigmata movie. <laughs> movie. Was it Matt Damon? No. No. I think Matt Damon was Stigma. But yeah. But no, that movie's crazy, bro. That's actually it's really scary. It, there's real life situations like that. Bro. <clears throat> People get like they wake up with like whip lashings on their In back. In the Philippines, they do that shit as a festival. Yeah, they actually fucking they hammer picks, nails into their hands. Yeah, someone volunteers to go through the tortures of Christ when he was crucified. And he has to carry a cross. And he gets crucified on the cross. Yeah. That's one thing that's fucking crazy about the Philippines. Yeah. Wow. But he doesn't they don't kill him, right? He no, just, they don't kill him. They just they do the torture. And then he just goes through life with the holes in his hand. I guess. <laughs> I wonder if they do the whole spear through the rib shit too. What are, they they need to bring them to the I, I hope they bring them to the hospital. <laughs> yeah. The hospital's like Jesus will save him. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's crazy, man. Damn, but well, that's crazy, man. Uh, that was that was his girl, like his wife or what? It was his wife, yeah. Wow. And she was always like that. She, no, she I mean like like I said, she was really smart and then she got into religion. And it made her crazy. Damn. I don't want to say the word crazy. You know, well, you know, the smartest people are... Yeah, like, yeah, they're more prone. They're yeah, more, more prone, prone to yeah. look like crazy people. Yeah. Like me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but that's crazy, man. Like, that's kind of scary. How old were you when you saw her like that? I was like 25. Oh, well. Yeah. You're probably some bitch crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I would, like... It got to the point where she was doing it so much that I just kind of got used to it. Like, she'd be laying on the floor. <laughs> she'd walk and over. And I'd just step over her. <laughs> and grab a cereal, milk. <laughs> yeah, I'd be making food. Really? And she's just like. <laughs> God damn. She would just, like, be speaking in tongues. Like, wow. And I would just be like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> was this here in Jacksonville? Yeah. In your house? In my brother's house, yeah. Wow. Did you ever invite friends over? <laughs> I mean, no, she does that. <laughs> she's like writing blood crosses. Like, uh, she she'll do? be all right. <laughs> That's her Tuesday hobby. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Oh, and she would always get lost, man. What do you mean? Like she would leave the house and she like, okay, so it was on like Beach Boulevard next to Alhambra. Yeah. Alhambra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she would end up at the beach. Just walking, walking. Just walking. That's a far as walk. And then, like, the police would call us and be like, hey, uh, you know, so, or so. the police would call her, her husband and be like, hey, uh, your wife was in the store just s- screaming at people. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. And it's just Filipino? Yeah. You know, you know, the Filipinos, man, they go through a lot of that kind of shit, though, because the religion is so strong there. Yeah. But they get so obsessed with it. And they take everything they experience in life. It's like, it's it's a sign from God, or they got to do this, they got to do that to protect themselves or mm-hmm. from going to hell. It's so crazy, bro. Well, I mean, then you look at like your mom, Dalton, right? She's so well grounded in like the Bible and everything. Yeah, yeah. That that her her Dalton's mom is like the typical Filipino, where it's just like religion is just it's based on like a family, but the yeah. people take it to where it's like. Like, if I don't do this, just like I said, like Catholicism, man, I don't yeah, do this, yeah, I'm going to go to hell. They think that. They're going to go to hell. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to sacrifice my cat. So, shit. Like, they base every decision around. Yeah, you know, of yeah. religion. It's crazy. Yeah. I got a lot of respect for your mom, man. Talking yeah. to Dalton, right? I better be talking to Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to Dalton. Have you seen Pull Up John B's mom? <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> oh my God. Pat was like, that, there's one episode where, remember you're like, you're, you're pulling up my Instagram on my mom's picture? Yeah. He said, I he, took it. he went to my Instagram to look at her picture. <laughs> like, you fucking. <laughs> what did he say? He's like, your mom's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see a picture. She, I deleted my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Imagine Dragon. <laughs> man, I remember I'm like kind of bounces it off what we we're just talking about. 
um, Abel was telling me that he saw like an exorcist like in front of his eyes. Like a, a, like a person, no, a person that was possessed right in front of his eyes. Really? He said that when he lived in the Philippines, he lived in his house where, you know, the Philippines house, they're very open. And then if it's the roof, the roof, there's like, like two by fours that's just holding the roof up. Yeah, yeah. And it's an open ceiling. Yeah. Right? So he said one of his aunts came down to visit him one time and it was, his aunt was like a bubbly aunt. Like, oh, like saying like, oh, hey, everybody, good morning, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And... He said that when she stayed there for two weeks, I think it was two weeks, she kept complaining about seeing something running across the two by fours in the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Like it was a person. Yeah. And he said like the next couple of days, she was kind of acting different. And like she wouldn't eat. She was getting really pale. And then he said one day he was going to bed or him and his friends were playing in one room and it was literally divided by just a wall, the other room. Yeah, but you can look over the wall to the next room, right? Mm -hmm. And he said they were playing one time, <clears throat> and all they kept hearing was fucking chickens in the next room, like they're like they're like just fighting or something. Uh -huh. So his friends, him and his friends, like what the fuck? So they put a ladder against the wall to climb the wall to look over to the next wall. He saw his aunt biting a chicken's head and sitting in the corner. What the. And he said when he was looking at her, like right when he looked down, she was, she was biting chicken and she was this. She looked right at him. Oh my God. And he said he like, he like fell back. <laughs> and he said her eyes were like fucking blacked out and she was like talking in tongues. She just kept biting chicken's heads. What the fuck? I was like, damn, man. You she never heard of an hungry. air fryer? <laughs> 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 but that's man, fucking she crazy. Didn't pluck them. She didn't even pluck them. They're alive, straight biting their heads off, man. Dang. Just eating it. Just eating their heads. Damn. It's salmonella. <laughs> I, I mean, bro, get your, get your protein in, I guess, right? <laughs> it was crazy, man. That's fucking nuts. That's how crazy it is in the Philippines, too, though, when it comes to that kind of shit. All the urban legends, all yeah. that shit. Yeah. So many urban legends. I think I talked about that before. Like, my mom was scared of a demon that was in the ceiling, and its tongue would come out. And eat the people. Like its tongue would come down from the ceiling and grab you. Oh, I thought there's something like that, but it was a demon that just ate the babies. Yeah. Well, maybe a children, because she said it was when she was a kid. Yeah. Or like the Mananangal. You heard that one? What's that? The, the, the person with the fucking bat wings. Or the lady that's cut in half, her upper body torso floats while the other one walks around. What the fuck? And the only way to kill her is to put salt in her torso. This is so crazy, man. This was, these are the kind of stories my grandpa told us before we slept. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Yeah, for real. And he'd get mad that we were to sleep. I'm like, well, you fucking just told us the scariest shit. Oh, uh, did you... Um, the Flo Rida. Did you see he had a lawsuit against the... You know Celsius, the drink? Yeah. The, oh, yeah, because the they... Yeah, they had they owed him like back pay money. Yeah, for like promoting. How much was the lawsuit for? Bro, he won eighty two million dollars. God damn, he's lucky, bro, because he fell off. <laughs> no, he hasn't fallen off. Man. What? He still does shows all the time. He's still like super popular. Is that him? Yeah, he's damn. still super popular, like na internationally. So he still goes around the world and does music. I want he's a just not, He's just not popular. I want a lawsuit case against Godiva. The chocolate thing. <laughs> I you, did. You won a lawsuit? Yeah. Well, you know how they have, like, they sent out emails, like, if you ever bought Good Diver from this year to this year. Uh huh. Because the lawsuit was that they were saying that Good Diver was literally straight from Italy, made in Italy, but it wasn't. So it was false advertisement. Uh, so that, you know, you can sign up to get, like, money $25. from the case. Yeah, I got $15. <laughs> That's crazy. Straight to my PayPal, bro. Yeah, see. That's that's what's fucked up because they're like, oh, you may be entitled to yeah. an eighty million dollar compensation, but then it's like twenty bucks people. because yeah, <laughs> like when Apple Apple uh, they did that whole thing where um, when the new updates came out, they slowed down the phone. Oh yeah, yeah. in order to keep your battery running well. Yeah, yeah. And was there then, a lawsuit against that? Yeah, and you if you had an iPhone six. 
I think it happened during iPhone 6. If you bought an iPhone 6, you were entitled, and they gave them like 25 bucks. Everybody, oh, yeah, I everybody remember. Everybody got like 25 bucks. I remember. I and remember. a free battery. <laughs> <laughs> so now what they're doing is they're just letting the battery speed up everything. But they have one against Celsius, too. If you If you bought Celsius from like... Sometime oh. in 2021 yeah. to 2022. We signed up for that too. Yeah, yeah. You get like you get like however much. Yeah. So we we've been trying to find receipts. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we've we, I bought a lot of Celsius too, but that's just that's just like crack too. But the lawsuit was because they said that there's there's no preservatives in there. And there is, yeah. But there is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it oh. still says that. I wonder if they they really don't have preservatives now. I wish I could just someone just sent me like a thousand dollars randomly. I know. Yeah, so I could go on whatnot again. <laughs> I got a random thousand dollars sent to my account like three days ago. Random? Random. And I was like, what the fuck is this from? But then it was just an advance from my income tax. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Oh my phone. Oh. But yeah, um, When you go to a fertility clinic, do they like, like, say a woman goes to a fertility clinic, fertility <laughs> clinic to get sperm? Do they tell them the like the race of the father, like what they want? Yeah, they have to, right? Do they? Well, yeah, I appreciate they like, have what are to. Yeah, well, they're like, you know, okay, this father, he has a master's degree. He do they tell all that though? Yeah, they do. They have like a profile of of who the sperm donor is. Yeah. So they'll be like, oh, this guy, he's an average Joe, you know. I think you, and then this guy, he has a PhD and da da da. I know in like Massachusetts, you have. I know in like Massachusetts, you have to have like a, like a college degree to give sperm. Damn, that's some fucking. What's that shit called? Uh, <sighs> damn it! What's that word? It's a. It's like making your race more supreme. Racist. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, there's a word for it. Like, um, so does the sperm cost more if the person has a higher degree or not? I, I don't know, but like it makes sense because your DNA is in your sperm, so like they will so be what, smarter. What if, what if they're like, oh, this guy's an average Joe. He's about thirty two years old. He works at McDonald's. <laughs> I don't want that fucking eugenics. <laughs> oh, eugenics. Yeah, eugenics is a fringe set of beliefs and practices that aim to improve the genetic quality of a human population. Historically, eugenicists have attempted to alter human gene pools by excluding people and groups judged by to be inferior. That's eugenics, man. They're doing it in Massachusetts. Damn. Some white yeah, power. You also have to like be <laughs> pretty. <laughs> you have to so be like some pretty white power fit. <laughs> You can't smoke weed or drink or anything like <laughs> what that. What shit? Dang. Damn. So I can't donate sperm there. <laughs> nope. I wonder what, what it is here. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I donate all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I got 200 Have kids. you donated sperm before? No. Uh, I don't want no go? little me's running around. <laughs> I think you want to go. Yeah, I wonder if they like tell you like the height too, the height and the weight of the person and... They have to tell, like, the medical history, probably, yeah. Like, this guy's... This guy's Asian. He's kind of over... Kind of obese. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, borderline diabetic. Just like, okay. uh, so, sperm donor requirements between 19 and 38 years old. Now attending or have graduated from college. Professional experience considered in lieu of college education, are in good health, legally allowed to work in the U.S. Was that for Florida? Uh, this is for the spermbank.com. Oh, yeah. See, they require stuff. So, uh, what's, what's the pregnant deuce? Don't tell what race father is. Donor ethnicity, your family and your future child. Oh, yeah, they do tell the ethnicity. Can you choose the ethnicity of your sperm donor? For example, you can choose a sperm donor with a similar skin tone 
or ethnicity you see you, or select by height, hair color, eye color, or many other features. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think you get that because you don't want just a random person. Why not? I mean, it's a random person, but like, I would want my baby, well, I wouldn't get sperm, but I'm saying, I want my baby to have the same similarities as me. That's racist, though. Well, no, nah, it's, it's a preference. So you don't want a black baby? Yeah, I could get a black baby. They <laughs> <laughs> ain't making me seem like I like black people on this pod, bro. <laughs> I got two black friends, okay? <laughs> That's way. I've let two black people in my house, okay? <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Michael? <laughs> That's funny, man. I forgot where I heard that before, where it's like somebody called, like, it was on a TV show, and the, like the person called them racist and she was like she was like i'm not racist i've let black i've i've let five black people into my house <laughs> she, <laughs> she counted, counted. Them, yeah. <laughs> oh shit oh where's that from i forget man <laughs> damn how long we got How long we got? Uh, I don't know. Asian guy on the 90s show. Oh, we didn't talk about Perfect Match. Oh. Yeah, we got to talk about that. Have you watched that, Brent? Or Moose? No, I mean, I, I think I started watching some with you, Dalton, right? Yeah, let me get the That's vape. That's gay. <laughs> let me get the vape. So the perfect match. <laughs> Why'd you look at him like that? Just to see what he's gonna do with it. <laughs> so the well, yeah. perfect match. Man, I feel so. Uh, spoiler alert. Yeah, don't watch this. Spoil. Yeah, put spoiler alert. Spoiler know. alert. I feel so bad for Dom, man. That was fucked up. But you know what yeah. I think? I what? think when they did that little like trivia part and Dom was like really dumb. Like he didn't know any answers in the anything, beginning. And she had to like carry the whole team. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah but they won. But they won because of her. Like yeah. if it was up to. Well, he did win. Like where had they had to get the He won the, the strength part. Like the yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. Um, but the thing is about that, what I found fucked up, was she got in an argument with the Savannah girl. She's like, you know we're in a relationship, but then you came to holler at him or you came at him. But then she ends up fucking choosing to date someone else. Oh, yeah. True, yeah. She's like, and remember, Savannah's like, but are y'all boyfriend and girlfriend? She's like, we're together, but are y'all boyfriend and girlfriend? And she was saying that. And then I thought about that. Damn, man. What? A, what? No, I got something on one. Oh, <laughs> I was like, that's what? I think she's, she's, she's fucked up for that, man. Yeah. Yeah, I felt bad for him, man, because he was... I want Joey to win, though. I like Joey. Which was Joey? The Italian guy. What? I love Joey, man. I hate him, bro. You never watched... The, did you ever watch The Circle? Yes. When he won? You I didn't like when he won The Circle? I didn't... No, 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 no. I didn't like him. I thought he was such a douchebag. No, man. I fucking love Joey, man. He's the best. Maybe... I, well, okay. I didn't like him in the beginning of the perfect match where he was like all fucking jealous, crazy boyfriend. He's just he's funny though. He is funny. Yeah, yeah. I like. It was funny when they did like the whole truth or dare thing, and his girl ended up kissing somebody. Yeah, and he was like, twice in <laughs> twice in a row. <laughs> he's like, what the fuck? Let me see your let me see your haircut. You got a cut yesterday? No. Uh, uh, I thought you wanted to let the sides grow. Tuesday. Valentine's Day. I thought you wanted to let the sides grow. Yeah, I got lazy, but I'm letting the top grow. What about your knee? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's like three episodes. Of, you know, Probably that, that joke. joke. Oh, man. <laughs> did, we ever, why do, did we ever talk about why ashes turn white on black pants, but black on white pants? Isn't that weird? Ashes? You like ashes from like a cigarette? It turns white on black pants. Oh, and black on white. Oh, yeah. yeah. It does, right? 
Isn't that weird? That's weird. I never noticed that. What the fuck? That's some like black magic Mandela (laughs) Mandela effect. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so another thing about the whole joke with the knee and the word grow. (laughs) I was just saying, what if someone did that for real? But (laughs) but their knees were always ashy. So they, it was like an ashy Negro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. I was just playing that. All right. We're done with shit. Okay. We're going to end the podcast. So, someone told me that. I didn't come up with that. <laughs> this podcast. Jeez. It's brought to you by Dubby. Energy blend. Mix it with your water. Makes your knees grow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fuck, oh. man. <laughs> We gotta get uh, we gotta get the other sponsorship too, man. I can't find it still. Oh, better help. Who do you want? Better help. Better help. Yeah, I'll try it. I'll try to get. I can't find it. I can't. Find still it. gotta get our money from Apple too. Yo, that's so crazy. Apple, can can someone teach us? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> no, at least with the yeah, Apple. Have you seen those uh, those Instagrams with Theo Vaughn's voice over it? He's like, dude, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I like the one where he was talking about Filipino people. Yeah, yeah. That's what you told me, right? I love the Yeah. Man. No, but it's like people like they're like doing like their job or whatever, like building a house or something. And it's yeah. like, dude, people always ask me, bro, like, how do you do what you do? And I'm like, dude, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's funny. Is that why he made his haircut like that? So it was like him. Well, he just wanted a mullet, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think it's time to cut it off, though, huh? You gonna cut your hair short? Show them the mullet. Get on the camera. Show them the mullet. This is Moose Man's mullet. No, on this camera. What are you doing? It's beautiful. You got to put your hair up in the front or something. Like, like get on your knees. <laughs> Can they see it? I don't They've know. seen your face. Oh, yeah, they have seen his face. Yeah, he's been on. That's our screen man. I gave him that mullet. <laughs> That's what he wanted. And then same night I gave him the mullet, he got a girl's number. Dude, Damn. Mullet, mullets have magic, brother. Really? Yeah, it makes you start saying brother. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes you want to buy pit vipers, too. Pit By what? Look, these fucking rad-ass sunglasses. At least you say rad, too. <laughs> <laughs> look at these Oh, shows. God, don't do it, bro. <laughs> You're really going to look like you belong like in Jersey Shore. <laughs> is that not me? Florida it is. Bama Shore. Like, literally, is that a picture of you? <laughs> well, you should be on Florida Bama Shore, man. As I told him. I think you should be on Florida. Yeah, yeah. Bro, you should be on that show. You'd, yeah. probably, you'd probably hook up with this chick named Amy on there. <laughs> oh, God. I love Amy, bro. She, I feel very bad for her, bro. Yeah. Like, she went through a lot. Yeah. That was A-I-M-E-E. Her? Her? <laughs> What's wrong with her, man? What's wrong with her? Why'd you say it like that? I don't know. Her face is not what I what I like. <laughs> what, what kind of face do you like? <laughs> <laughs> you probably like Nilsa. Yeah, you probably like Nilsa. Type in N-I-L-S-A. She's right there. Oh, well, yeah. N-I-L-S-A. Yeah, she's all right. She's yeah. a fucking crazy yeah, she's. Bitch, it's so funny. Like she tries so hard to get attention, and everybody like this is her. Yeah, man. Like, she, <laughs> like first Gus, and then Jeremiah, and then Jeremiah's brother. Jeremiah's brother. They're all like, but they got. If you you gotta watch. Um, there's four more seasons coming out. No, already out on Par- what? on Paramount Plus, and the other seasons have 26 episodes each. Do I have your Paramount Plus? I do. Right? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Vaz will be happy with that shit, bro. But I only got it for one month, so you got to finish it. Okay. <laughs> I had signed up for like it, it, it invited me back for a trial for one month. Oh, day. yeah. Okay, we gonna watch that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, this episode is brought to you. This podcast is brought to you by Dubby. Mix it with your water. Use our code OFFRIP. You get ten percent off of your order. <laughs> um, <laughs> we love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace. Thanks for Negroes. <laughs> oh, shit.